We're really proud about our uh, results for the month of July here. We demonstrated our power strategy. Not only do we mine Bitcoin, but through the investment we've made in low cost, long-term power agreements, we have blocks of power that we can use to participate in the Urquhart energy market. When energy demand is high, power prices are also high. And because we made an investment to secure additional power, we can make that capacity available to the grid by curtailing our power operations. And in doing so, we are improving our overall economics. Oftentimes, it is simply more profitable to curtail power than to mine Bitcoin. As a result of uh, employing this strategy, we have generated an estimated greater financial results than we would have if we had been mining Bitcoin around the clock without curtailing at all. By curtailing, we've earned power credits that will be applied to our power invoices and will effectively eliminate our power costs for the month of July. That is a huge benefit that makes our operations incredibly more efficient, especially during, during market downturns where a, a lot of the competitive landscape is financially constrained. So we're very proud to share the demonstrated results of our strategy, proven the strategy in action. We are curtailing our power to provide additional capacity to the grid, and we are improving our financial results by doing so. This month, we've made notable framework and deployment progress at the company's 400 megawatt digital infrastructure expansion project here at Riot's Windstone facility. In building D&E, interior progress is moving towards completion. Engineers have begun installing Riot's proprietary air rack cooling system in building D, the successful testing and installation of medium voltage transformers have been complete. We've also begun installing additional switchboards, medium voltage transformers, and electrical work in Building E this month. Building F, Riot's first immersion cooled building, was operational and complete as of May of 2022. Our second immersion cooled building, Building G, is advancing quickly with our installation of dry coolers, water pump systems, and medium voltage electrical systems. As you know, Riot announced a one gigawatt development in April of 2022 to expand its hosting and mining capabilities in Navarro County, Texas. This month, the company is excited to share that the earthwork and development of the first phase of access roads have begun at Riot's 265-acre Corsicana facility.